We stand to confess our faith, the words of the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us man and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Christian and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We pray. Lord of life, we are sustained by the spiritual food you alone provide, and our lives depend on your powerful word. As you have gathered us here around the proclamation of your gospel, make us worthy to receive the bounty prepared for us in your son's death and resurrection. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Heavenly Father, you have raised your son from the dead to the praises of all angels and saints. Give us strength to our hearts and voices that we with them would meditate on the glorious splendor of your majesty and speak of the might of your awesome deeds. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Ever living God, you raised up Saul from among your enemies that he would suffer for your name. Stir up all those baptized into your name and call many men to the service of your church. Sustain all missionaries who suffer for your gospel and continue to confound your enemies with your wisdom. And we pray for all those who in the past week have received new calls into ministry from our seminaries, both pastors and deaconesses. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Gracious Lord, one generation of your saints commends your work to another's. As we have received your glorious gospel, grant all fathers and mothers strong and joyful faith to declare your mighty acts to the generation to come. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, enthroned in heaven, you have ordered all the nations of the earth and have set your church among them to shepherd them into eternal life. Hear the prayers we continually offer for our rulers and grant them faithful and peaceful reign. Lord, in your mercy. And we pray, Lord, for those parts of the world that are not peaceful, especially for the people of Ukraine and the surrounding areas, that you would grant them peace. Lord, in your mercy. Compassionate Lord, you are glorified in the sufferings of your faithful people. Teach us to trust that through all our trials and graciously bear up those who struggle among us. We pray for many this day, for Jeff, for Emma, for Dagan, for Volkert, for Carrie, for uh, the family of uh, the Warnocks whose mother passed. We pray for Michelle and Naomi. We pray for Janice as she remembers the passing of her husband Don. We pray for uh, Rosemary and uh, as she awaits the birth of her child. We pray for others going through uh, decisions and changes in life for Tyler and for many others we pray that all these would know the fullness of your love Lord in your mercy Hear our prayer. eternal Lord you have prepared a feast again for us on this morning of your son's resurrection help us to rejoice greatly in this gift of his body and blood and receive it to our eternal good that we too would rise at the last day Lord in your mercy Hear our prayer. All these things and whatever else you know that we need, grant us, Father, for the sake of him who died and rose again and now lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever. Amen. Amen. We offer our gifts. 
we sing the offertory as the gifts are brought forward. salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you holy lord almighty father everlasting god and most especially are we bound to praise you on this day for the glorious resurrection of your son jesus christ the very paschal lamb who was sacrificed for us and bore the sins of the world by his dying he has destroyed death and by his rising again he has restored to us everlasting life Therefore, with Mary Magdalene, Peter, and John, and with all the witnesses of the resurrection, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, Blessed are you, Lord of heaven and earth, for you have had mercy on those whom you created and sent your only begotten Son into our flesh to bear our sin and be our Savior. With repentant joy we receive the salvation accomplished for us by the all-availing sacrifice of his body and his blood on the cross. Gathered in the name and the remembrance of Jesus, we beg you, O Lord, to forgive, renew, and strengthen us with your word and spirit. Grant us faithfully to eat his body and drink his blood, as he bids us do in his own testament. Gather us together, we pray, from the ends of the earth, to celebrate with all the faithful the marriage feast of the Lamb in his kingdom, which has no end. Graciously receive our prayers, deliver and preserve us. To you alone, O Father, be all glory, honor, and worship, with the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance, excuse me. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where I... Second paragraph. Yeah. In the same way, he also took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. As often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
We proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Amen. 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 Come, Amen. Lord Jesus. O Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, in giving us your body and blood to eat and to drink, you lead us to remember and confess your holy cross and passion, your blessed death, your rest in the tomb, your resurrection from the dead, your ascension into heaven, and your coming for the final judgment. So remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Mm hmm.